Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix error code CE1095 slash five, or uh, yeah, that's basically the error code on PS5 that happens usually because a lot of different things. Now, one of the things, as you can see right here, and uh, many ways why this error code is uh, here is when your PS5 tries to connect to the internet. Well, how can you fix the problem? So as you can see, what is the error code and what's the cause of it? So it's a software related error code. This means that there was a problem when you tried to run a game or application preventing you from playing that particular game. It's also an error code that occurs on PS3 and PS4. So what's causing the error code? It can be your game that is not downloaded or installed properly. So definitely check that as well. The game might be installed on an external hard drive. The external hard drive may malfunction. PS5 database is corrupted, system cache problem or game app incompatibility issues or simply file conflicts with other PS5 games or apps. Now, what you can do is you can check the PSN servers. That's obviously the first thing you can do. Obviously, that's very simple to do. The second thing is you can restart your PS5 console or router. So make sure to do that. Make sure if you're using a wireless device that is compatible with the 5 gigahertz band, and not the 2.4 gigahertz band as well. So make sure to set that up as well. Now, after restarting the console and router, check if your error code is gone. Second thing you can do is install game on the internal SSD. Usually, uh, if you're running the game on an external hard drive, it's best to install it on the internal SSD as a PS5 external hard drive can fail at times. You can also de uh, delete and reinstall the game or app. You simply go to settings, storage, and in the left panel, select console storage. From there, you can select games and apps. And obviously, if the target game or application is installed on PS5 external hard drive, select extended storage in the left panel. Choose the game that needs to be reinstalled and select delete. That's what you wanna do, right? So second thing you wanna do is you wanna update your PS5 system software. So for this, it's very simple. If your PS5 console is connected to the correct network, you can easily update your PS5 system software through settings. Alternatively, you can also update the PS5 system software from a USB flash drive. Now, obviously option one is updating the PS5 system software via settings, go home, go to settings. From there, obviously, you wanna go to system, system software, and system software update and settings, and you wanna update your system software. I think this is the best way to do it. I wouldn't really go with USB flash drive, to be honest with you. Now, obviously, these are just some of the things. You can also rebuild the database. Um, you know, bottom line is that this is an error code that can happen in a, a lot of different ways. So definitely comment down below if you fixed it and how you fixed it to help other people that are watching this video as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.